It was a typical summertime day here in South Carolina, hot and humid. And as you might have guessed, that uh, all that heat and humidity, excuse me, did fire up quite a bit of scattered showers and storms today. Thankfully, nothing really impacted Georgetown or Horry counties. However, there was a couple of storms that fired up near Marion. Loris and Whiteville as well. As we head deeper into the evening, we still hold on to a very small chance of an isolated shower or storm. It will be warm and muggy considering how humid it is out there. Temperatures across the PD and also on the border will be in the mid 70s. We're going to be in the mid to upper 70s right along the immediate coast. We're pretty much clear throughout your morning rush and also into your lunch hour as well. As we tap into that daytime heating in the afternoon, that will fire up a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms, particularly across summer and uh, Sumter and Manning and right up along the whole entire eastern coast as well. I think our best shot of rain throughout the course of the day tomorrow will be around six and eight o'clock in the afternoon. A whole entire line of storms will be uh, possible in between King Street, Georgetown, and once again, right up along the whole entire coastline. I think we're, pre we're pretty much going to be clear here across the PD and also on the border belt as well. And then eventually, once we lose all that daytime heating, those scattered showers and storms will begin to fall apart. Mid to upper 70s for your morning rush. Afternoon highs topping out in the mid, excuse me, the upper 80s and low 90s. There is that chance for a scattered shower and thunderstorm as we tap into that daytime heating. Winds will be out of the southwest shifting to the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we head deeper into the week and then eventually into the weekend as well, we have uh, the Bermuda High and also a very strong range of high pressure that's going to be over the Mississippi Valley. And while it will be very hot and humid, we're going to be having both of these high pressure systems are pretty much going to allow all the air to sink and that will pretty much prevent any showers and thunderstorms from preventing or excuse me from forming in the atmosphere so with that being said a very dry pattern ahead very little to no rain however is it will still be very hot and humid as we head over the course of the next several days and then eventually into the weekend as well look at some of these heat indexes oops let me switch that back. There we go. 102 by your Wednesday, 105 by your Thursday, and then we're back to 102 to 103 as you head and then into the end of this week and then eventually into the weekend as well. And take a look at these numbers. I know none of us want to see numbers like this. We're going to be in the low 90s across the PD, also on the border belt, peak index potentially 105 as you head into Thursday, 104 for the Grand Strand afternoon highs topping out in the upper 80s and low 90s. There is nothing to worry about in the tropics at all. And there is one main reason for that. All this dry air coming off of the Saharan Desert, excuse me, all this dust coming off of the Saharan Desert, it's pretty much acting like a sponge and absorbing all the moisture that is currently either in the Atlantic Basin, the Caribbean, or the Gulf. And that is pretty much just absorbing all the moisture and not allowing anything to form out there. So bottom line, over the next several weeks, there is not anything to worry about in the tropics, particularly over the next several weeks. Obviously, we still have a lot. We still have a long way to go in the hurricane season, and I'll keep you posted if I see anything else forming. But as of right now, we are completely safe. Here's your 10-day forecast along the Grand Strand. We definitely need all the rain we can get, so cherish the rain that we will be getting over the course of the rest of this week. Then eventually only a very small chance of rain on Saturday as we get that high pressure system to impact us. Afternoon highs will be topping out in the upper 80s and low 90s with very little to no rain as we head over the course of this upcoming week. Here's your forecast inland low to mid 90s throughout the rest of this upcoming week. Very little to no rain chances as we head throughout this upcoming weekend and even into next week as well. Temperatures all across the board will be topping out in the low to mid 90s overnight lows in the mid 70s. Keep it here at Leams Weather for all the latest information.